Time for us to discuss XRP. Love it or hate it, the banker's coin. So this qu question comes from the forum. Go to forum.tokenmetrics.com to, to pose your question. So Ripple Inc. versus the SEC, the general consensus out there on social media is that the SEC are on the cusp of some sort of capitulation. And the second that happens, it will trigger some sort of explosion in the price of XRP. People are maintaining the notion that the sole reason for the current value is suppression through investor uncertainty. Is that the case though? Does it have the utility to be big? Obviously, there are a lot of wild numbers being thrown about, crazy price predictions that don't match the market cap, etc. What are token metrics thoughts on this? Are people going big now on, X on XRP to catch that bounce to the moon? Or has it had its day in court? Very, very good question. Bill, uh, what do you think about XRP? This is a question that just keeps on coming. <laughs> so let's talk about let's talk about the people who like XRP. People who like XRP rarely seem to mention that XRP is sort of the coin of the company Ripple. And a lot of people don't talk about the fact that Ripple has a substantial holding in XRP. So if their lawyers do pull off a victory against the government, yes, XRP will go up. If you're long now, you will make money, probably, but you will be racing Ripple and their executives to sell into the rally because they've got something like 60% of the total supply. So I'm not hating on XRP, but what makes XRP go up and doesn't lead to Ripple Inc. selling as soon as it stops going up? Well, I have an answer in that XRP, if they get away with this and beat the government, they would have to be insane to leave themselves open to any future litigation. They've got to get XRP off the market and airdrop or somehow reissue a decentralized version of XRP that somehow takes advantage of their network or just flat out make a new network and fork their own code. I don't know if any of these things are possible. I'm sure they can be debated by people who know a lot about technology. I do know this. The best reason to own XRP is that Ripple Inc. is going to have to do an airdrop for a decentralized token. Even if they beat the government, they have to replace X, uh, XRP. Because if the SEC doesn't get them now, they might get them later, and that doesn't even bring in civil litigation. So why take the risk? Just go decentralized. So XRP holders may wind up like people who traded on Uniswap. They may just get airdropped the token out of nowhere. But if they don't do anything decentralized, yeah, there could be a rally, but you're going to see big sellers up top. First, what do you think about the X, uh, about XRP and the SEC? Yeah, so you with XRP, you have to look at it in terms of, of risk adjusted returns, could there be good returns? Could it, could it maybe even two X or three X, uh, maybe even more if, if they, they win the case. Sure. Uh, but keep in mind, they're already at number four in terms of market cap ranking. How much higher can ripple seriously go? Is it going to 100 X? No way. Uh, not, not this market cycle, right? Then you have to factor. So, so we've, we're kind of estimating the potential returns of being not that good, not to mention what Bill already talked about uh, of Ripple Labs dumping the supply on you as the price is going up. So that too is going to cap your returns. Look at the risk. If we factor in the risk, the risk is extremely high, probably much higher than any other cryptocurrency currently in the top 10 right now. Uh, they're, they're, they're being uh, sued by the SEC, they're investigated by the SEC. That's, that's not where I want to have a large portion of my money. So the potential returns are low, I would say, and the potential risk is high. That is a mismatch that I don't want to be involved in. Now, I don't hate 
XRP as much as I used to. Uh, I've actually just changed my views on it. To me, uh, XRP, a lot of people hate it because of the centralization and supply issues that uh, Bill mentioned, as well as just the, the, the tokenomics over, overall aren't great. But what you what Ripple does have going for it, what XRP does have going on, on for it is uh, partnerships. Uh, XRP is like that guy that everybody knows that just continues to get ahead in life because they're well networked. Uh, maybe they come from a very wealthy family or very wealthy friend. Uh, they don't have to work very hard to, to get ahead in life, right? They just know everybody and they just continue to fall into success, right? XRP has the partnerships. They've built RippleNet and onboarded big financial institutions into RippleNet. Uh, the World Economic Forum, I was reading a headline earlier, looking at it now, it says World Economic Forum names XRP as crypto asset most relevant in central bank digital currency spaces, right? So th there's, th they're, they're very well networked and very ha have a lot of uh, phenomenal partnerships despite their bad tokenomics. And what we're seeing is that might be enough or it has been enough to keep it in the top 10. But looking at this from risk adjusted returns, it's it's a mismatch for me personally. I don't think it's worth worth it. So many better places to have your money. All right. Thank you, Forrest. Yeah, I mean, I think this is very, very challenging. But if you're an XRP fan, I think it definitely does make sense to be more optimistic in, on XRP, especially if they're able to go to court and win against the SEC. I think that's going to be a landslide victory for all of crypto. Because now, for the first time, we'll be able to get actual clarity in terms of what the SEC views crypto as securities or not, and it, the exact threshold they have to achieve. So I think, if anything, regardless of what happens in this case, whether XRP will win or lose, or I, I think the whole space will have clarity for the first time in a long time. And I think as a res result of that, if anything, I, I just see crypto go, uh, going up because people now will have clarity, entrepreneurs, founders, people who want to build blockchain applications, especially in the, in the US, will know exactly what to do, right? So I think long-term, that's gonna be very, very bullish for all of crypto. Now, would I personally put my money in XRP right now? No. However, if you're trading it, going to token metrics, our, our Richard Trends indicator has been bullish on XRP since around 47 cents. And it's not changed. It's still bullish on, on XRP for any, anybody out there who's trading it. If we go to the low frequency, same thing. It's been bullish on XRP since 52 cents. So all that is still bullish. So if you're trading it, I'll, I'll keep on trading it, not financial advice, <laughs> until maybe the visual trends indi indicator turns bearish. Uh, but long term, I personally don't have any plans to put money in XRP. However, I think regardless of the case, I think it's going to be very big for crypto and it's going to bring a bigger, bigger bull run. Okay. Tell us what you think. Do you think XRP will win versus the SEC or not? Uh, post down below in the comments. Token Metrics is a cryptocurrency investment platform that helps users leverage machine learning to become better crypto investors. Our in-depth analysis helps eliminate the emotions of investing, find profitable investment opportunities, and filters out scams. Learn more at tokenmetrics.com.